Today, I've got a really cool update to share with you about the MAUWB ESP32 S3 UWB modules. And if you're working on a real time tracking or smart positioning systems, you are going to want to hear this. In my first video, I showed how two of these MAUWB modules could talk to each other. Simple setup one was the anchor, one was the take. The anchor's OLED display gave us real time distance from the take. Pretty neat, right? But something was wrong. We could see how far the take was, but not where it was. We had no idea which direction it was in. That's because with just two anchors, you only get one coordinate, the x-axis. To trade position in a space, not just a line, you need at least three, ideally four anchors. For my initial experiments, I only had these two modules, which I used as anchors A0 and A1. To complete the setup, I made a custom take using the Maker Fabes MAUWB DW3000 chipset and my newly designed ESP32 S3 based development board. I have already explained in my previous video how to solder the wires with the MAUWB DW3000 chipset and how to interface it with the ESP32 S3. The problem with using only two anchors was that we only had the X coordinate, the Y coordinate was missing. That's why when I moved the take forward or backward, it still showed the position of the take on a straight line. So, if someone was working on a project where they needed to track the position of something on a straight line or let's say only along the x-axis, then two anchors were sufficient. But for precise measurement of the position of an object or human in an area, at least three to four anchors were needed. The number of anchors could be increased to track the position with an irregular area. Initially, I started with three to four anchors. To demonstrate this, I created two more anchors, A2 and A3. That time, I used simple ESP32 dev modules. At that point, I was able to take the position of a take T0 in the XY plane. I could change the coordinates in the code to track the take within a larger area. I'm sure you got the idea of how to build a real-time human object or pet position tracking system. Although the application was quite impressive, the only thing I didn't like was that Anchor S0 had to be connected to the system which made the entire setup feel somewhat unprofessional. Every time I wanted to track the position of a human, pet or object, I had to connect Anchor S0 to my laptop or PC. So, I decided to make the system completely wireless. This was the Python code I used to wirelessly track the position of a take in a defined area. I had already installed all the required packages, including the flask package. Anyways, at that point, I was able to precisely track the position of a human object or pet wirelessly, not only on my laptop, but also on my cell phone. I no longer needed to sit in front of the laptop. This was a quick overview of what I have already explained in my last two videos. It was important so you can understand how powerful the MAUWB ESP32 S3 UWB modules and the MakerFabes MAUWB DW3000 chipsets are and where you can use them in your own projects. Now, speaking of powerful updates, just recently I got an email from MakerFabes. They appreciated the video I made about their MA Touch Parallel TFT 5 inch touch display, and along with that, they also shared some exciting news about the MAUWB module that I really wanted to share with you all. So, here's what's new. With the latest firmware version v1.1.3, MAUWB now supports unlimited anchors. Yes, unlimited. But instead of overwhelming the system, the TIG now automatically detects and selects the eight nearest anchors in real time for positioning. That means no matter how many anchors are deployed, 16, 24 or even more, the system stays smart, stable and responsive. This makes the MAUWB module way more flexible, especially in large or complex environments where anchors might be spread unevenly or when devices are moving between different zones. To make this work, they have introduced something called anchor class logic. Every anchor has a unique ID like 0, 1, 2 and so on. Anchors with the same reminder when divided by 8 belong to the same class. The take communicates with only one anchor from each class and always choose the nearest one. So, for example, if anchors 0, 8 and 16 are all from class 0, the take will talk to whichever is closest. This mod filtering avoids signal interference and ensures accurate positioning even in dense deployments and the accuracy still solid 
with less than 0.5 meters deviation under standard indoor conditions within 500 meters range. So whether you are working on indoor personal trekking, industrial asset trekking, warehouse robotics navigation, or large area research test beds, this update makes MAUWB even more powerful and scalable. I would have definitely made a video on this update, but honestly, I have already explained this topic in detail from the basics to the advanced level in my previous videos. And to be very frank, I don't have that many anchors available to practically test this new feature. Anyway, this update is mainly on the firmware side. You can download the new firmware and update instructions from MakerFabe's official GitHub. I have added the link in the description. Trust me, this is a game changer for anyone building smart positioning systems. So that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in the next episode. And thanks for watching.